Today we're gonna understand how the retry ability works in Cypress. We're gonna learn some basic comments and assertions in Cypress. And well, we're gonna try to give you some recommendations from the official documentation about how to avoid flaky tests. So welcome back. This is your Media Geeks. Welcome. Please subscribe if you want to keep learning about technology and automation. Well, uh, today we're going to understand, as I told you before, this core feature of uh, Cypress, all right? So um, let's go ahead and try to explain you what is retryability, right? So, well, retryability, uh, from my understanding, is um, basically it allows the test uh, or actually the test to complete each command as soon as the session passes without hard coding weights. So, cause as you may know, uh, well, uh, modern applications are asynchronous, right? Uh, actually they are uh, querying different APIs and the information can be rendered, uh, well, in different, uh, time stamps right so uh, it is uh, or it could be amazing if the framework that we use actually uh, can be waiting for that kind of a uh, request right and if 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 the framework could have a kind of a smart assertion or wait until the element is displayed uh, in the in the web browser in this case could be amazing so basically that's uh, what the retriability uh, provide us it is an, a, a kind of feature that um, will actually retry until an element is displayed in the DOM, all right? So let's go ahead and try to give you this example. I'm going to be using this to do application that Cypress offers us. If you want to actually um, download it, you can go ahead and go to this link. I'm going to try to provide you that in the description of this video. You just have to code this or, uh, or click on code, then copy the URL and then uh, clone this in your uh, local environment. Then you just have to download the, um, well, the, the dependencies using the npm install command and then npm install to start the local web servers, web server, I'm sorry, and you will see something like this, all right? So let's go ahead and try to give you a an, an quick overview of, this, of how this application works. Basically, you can go come here and well enter, for example, to do A, and you will get uh, that to do uh, actually locked in the in the application we can lock different to do's we can mark them or mark one as a completed for example we can delete this well we can do a lot of stuff here that uh, can be uh, performed to make our tests so uh, well, what we're gonna do here in this test case is gonna be creating a describe this is something that we have um, done before in this channel if you want to learn how to use mocha and chai you can go ahead and look that video in this beautiful channel all right so we're gonna name this retriability ability session all right this session or this describe is gonna have a callback function that will have a after all or actually before all we're gonna have before each function here okay and this before each function is gonna have a a, um, a function yeah a, a callback function inside of this callback function we're gonna get um, well different uh, commands right in this case i want to have that the the, the command ci visit that it is going to help us to well actually get or visit a, a specific a website in this case i want to go to this beautiful website so i'm gonna just copy that here and then we're gonna uh, or I, I just want to let you know that this is a command so we're gonna try to uh, specify and see what is the difference between a command and assertion right so uh, after we have this i want to do uh cy get all right i'm sorry it was cy not ci i'm sorry <laughs> what it's gonna do the ci get command basically it is gonna get one or more dumb elements by selector or alias all right so let me just give you this example i want to uh, actually point to this element in the in the dom i see that this is an input element and it has the class new to do so what i have to do is actually uh, well 
enter a dot and then the class to point to that particular element, right? This is a, a basic CSS selector. If you want to learn about CSS selector in this channel, you will see that video in the list of videos, all right? Uh, well, uh, we have now specified the the element that we want the, that we want to get, and now I want to type something here. I, what I what I want to do is type to do a, and then I want to enter. All right, I want to do, I want to make an enter, so I just have to do it in that way, and also I can also type another to do right immediately. I just want to do to do b immediately before the, after that is completed so as you can see here we have three different commands right mm -hmm. sorry command command and command that's good uh, well what is the next step basically what we have to do here is uh, creating it we're gonna start working with our its. The first one is gonna be created or actually named. Should be or actually should create two items. Or now it is it is or we're gonna make sure. Actually, we're gonna change this uh, this uh, well title. It is gonna be um, well should have to ally elements right so what we want to do here is make sure that we have two li's elements uh, displayed or rendered in our dom all right so what how how we can do that basically what we're gonna do is uh, we'll actually look for the ci get element that we want to test in this case if i enter to do a and to do b you will see that we are gonna have if I inspect this, you will see that it is going to be two LIs elements instead of a UL, right? So if how, how I can uh, actually point to this LI element, you just have to, uh, well, actually uh, look for the LI element inside of the UL, right? Let me see why it is not working. Well, um, I'm not sure why, man. New to do. Or actually, it's because the UL has a different class, which is this one. Mm -hmm. There it is. Now we have uh, the get, or if if we actually look for this selector in the get command, we're gonna have the the well the the array of of the two allies in our memory, right? So mm, what we're gonna do uh, <coughs> now is we'll actually make an assertion. We're gonna. Uh, perform a shoot assertion and I want to make sure that it has a half length or it has length or actually length of two elements right and now as you can imagine what it is gonna do is make sure that we have two elements with the with this selector in our DOM right so mm, I just want to let you know that this is a command and this is an assertion now all right that's good so um well let's go ahead and try to uh, run this example i'm gonna go to my terminal and well what i have to do is uh, run my cypress open command in the script <coughs> let's go ahead and see how how we can do it all right uh, well i have a uh, my my test uh, script under the retriability folder if you want to get this project you can do it without any problem inside of this repository this is going to be available for you um well as soon as you want to to download it and clone it it is totally free and you can just come here clone this and go ahead to use it in your local machine so it should have to ally elements is failing let's see what is happening it says that uh, the chainer length wasn't found. It's probably a, I wrote that in in bad way. Probably. <laughs> Let's see. It's probably a misspelling uh, mistake. Length. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's my English. I'm sorry. 
length now it is working fine let's see if it works there it is now we have a or we can make sure that there are two li elements in our dom right so that's what basically the assertion works as you can see in the test runner uh, the commands are uh, displayed in this way and an assertion is going to be half an assert uh, tag here and it is going to be green if something uh, or actually if it went well and red if it didn't so it is something to have in mind well uh, now let's imagine that our application as in real life has a delay when we enter a to-do let me give you this example all right uh, we're gonna go to the to-do model js and we're gonna change this line of codes let me just uh, comment this mm -hmm. and refresh the application all right as you can see right now or actually let me just give you an example of how it works over here is if you can as you can see here i'm gonna try to delete the delete uh, those to do's and now i'm gonna start enter them again as you can see we have a delay until i get the element rendered in the dom it is something similar than the real life scenarios right so if i enter the second one you will see uh, a delay too, and then we have the element displayed in the DOM. So you can imagine that probably with some kind of uh, or other frameworks, we could have different, uh, well, or we, or we have to work for uh, or look for workarounds to get this tested correctly because it is synchronous and we have to make sure that uh, well the application or the framework wait for a few seconds until the element it is displayed however using cypress as you can see here if i re or actually re-execute the uh, retriability test case you will see that uh, it is going to have a kind of timeout, right? It is going to wait until the two elements are displayed and then it is going to have the assertion. But Cypress is going to wait. That's the main idea of this video. Uh, give you the idea or actually give you the example of how the uh, retriability works because it is important to have this concept in mind to have a further, um, well, or actually to help you do, to create more stable it tests for for your future right so yeah that's basically what i think so i think that this video is is pretty long now uh, in the next video we'll try to understand uh, well another example of how cypress works uh, with um well the retriability works with multiple assertions uh, we can see for example another example of uh, some built-in assertions in in some commands yeah um and yeah in probably i'm gonna try to give you examples of how that how we can change the timeout because uh, by default it has uh, a four seconds timeout however we can change that and also i can give you a few recommendations to avoid flaky tests all right so thank you very much for watching this video uh, hope to see you in the next one and please subscribe and let a like if you want to keep learning about cypress thank you very much and see you soon bye bye